In a lab in College Station, Texas, lies the best kept secret in the energy world. A fuel detected in outer space, but only recently found on Earth. What we're looking at is one of the most concentrated forms of energy that exists on planet Earth. It's the bridge to the future. This is gas hydrate. When we run out of conventional oil and gas, this is going to power the planet. Gas hydrate is frozen methane. It abounds on the moons of Jupiter. Scientists estimate our own planet holds more reserves of gas hydrate than coal, oil, or gas put together. The trick is finding them. Roger Sasson is mounting an expedition to hunt for the mother load of gas hydrates. I can't escape from gas hydrate. It's, it's, like, it's like my fate, my destiny at this point. I've got to go along that road. I can't escape from it. The best place to look is deep underwater, where the pressure and temperatures are extreme. Such conditions can be found a hundred miles off the coast of New Orleans, over half a mile down at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. This is a tricky mission. The submersible is good to 3,000 feet. We're diving right at 2,900 and change. There are dangers involved. There is the possibility of entrapment on the bottom. The submarine can get tangled in any piece of gear that's down there that we know about and some that we don't know about. The pressure we're looking at at this depth is uh, roughly about 1,300 pounds per square inch. And the temperature, the ocean temperature we've been seeing is about five degrees centigrade. So it's, uh, it's pretty chilly. So no, it's not a hospitable place for humans at all. Roger that. All right, Alan, let me know when you get a seal. We have a seal. We're diving. All right, 30 feet. It takes 40 minutes to descend half a mile to the bottom. The sub has only three hours of battery power. 100 feet. Their destination is nearly three times as deep as the most advanced scuba technology can go. 200 feet. The whole key for us is finding that sweet spot where we've got gas known to be bubbling out of the seafloor and all the magic things happen around the gas hydrate. 300 feet, 300. Zero, zero. Yeah, you need to go northeast, zero, four, five degrees. Come to all stop, drop straight down. The ship's crew guides the sub using sonar maps. 2,800 feet, 2,800, zero, zero, 80 feet off the bottom. Outside the sphere at this point, you would just collapse in on yourself like a bag of hamburger meat. We're 75 feet off the bottom. And now we're going to pan downward. There's the bottom. In all probability, no one else has ever seen this with their own eyes before. You know, the word ocean exploration has some meaning. 
Okay, we're on the bottom. Our depth is 2,900 feet, 2,900. Temperature is 5.4 degrees, 5.4 degrees. Visibility is about 20 to 25 feet, 20 to 25 feet. Uh, if you got a range and bearing that we could try, we'll go ahead and get underway. Yeah, you need to go northeast, 045 degrees, 260 feet. The sea floor in the Gulf of Mexico is broken by thousands of small fault lines. These fissures make it one of the few places on Earth where gas hydrates seep from the Earth's crust. Most of the ocean floor is the same stuff. Flat, featureless, brown mud. But when we come to the gas vents, it's like going to an oasis. A very special spot that's rare on the ocean floor. At this point, finding a gas vent is a matter of following the clues. There's some crabs, lots of crabs, that are hiding in the, in the light. Crabs and other creatures are drawn to gas vents to feed. It's getting interesting at this point. They're getting close. Oh, there's the, here's the gas bubbles, look. See those bubbles going up? Okay, we've got an active uh, gas vent. Deep in the Earth's crust, life from the age of dinosaurs was crushed and cooked. This gas is all that's left. Roger launches a crucial experiment. We're putting the core tube into the stream of gas bubbles. See it? If he can collect the gas bubbles here, they might turn into gas hydrate. It's working. Trapped under this extreme pressure and temperature, the gas transforms into an ice-like substance, pure gas hydrate. That is the world's future source of energy when we run out of gas and oil. Where there's a vent, outcrops of gas hydrate must be nearby. Oh, there's some rock. There's some carbonate rocks. See that? See those white things? That's what we're looking at. It's a huge chunk of gas hydrate. This is what they came for. The largest concentration of gas hydrate ever found on Earth. That might be a couple of tons of gas hydrate there. Really enormous. Beneath the layer of mud is a freak of chemistry. Hydrates are molecules of gas trapped inside molecules of water. They're compressed 160 times smaller than they would be at the surface. The area around the submarine could power a medium-sized city for a year. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. In the Gulf of Mexico, there could be enough energy to power the entire U.S. for 2,000 years. Some scientists estimate that there is enough gas hydrate on Earth to power the human race for 3,000 years. What you want is a big gold nugget. You want energy concentrated enormously in the smallest area possible. And that's what we found, the most concentrated mass of gas hydrate energy that anyone has ever seen. It makes it probably the most significant dive in my career. Biggest piece of gas hydrate I've ever seen in my life. Finding rich deposits is just the first step on a long road. 
Scientists must learn how to extract gas hydrates without harming marine life. Then, the real work begins, converting them into clean energy. Like all fossil fuels, hydrates emit greenhouse gases when burned. Those gases must be trapped before hydrates can power your home.